Welcome and come on into the theater. My name is Jack Marcel. I work for an application security vendor known as Mend. You might know us by our former name. We used to be called White Source Software, and we changed our name last year in order to better reflect what we do. What do we do? We help companies just like yours mend application security problems. Now, today I'm going to talk about a range of uh, integrated solutions that we have partnered with AWS for companies just like yourselves. But first, I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. Who is in security? Whose primary job is in security? Anybody here? Raise your hand if you are primarily a developer. All right, very good. Raise your hand if you're primarily responsible for operating cloud environments. DevOps, anybody here? All right, well, thank you very much. Up oh, over there, great. So I'm going to have something for each of you today and invite your security friends to come on over. Um, now, before I go any further, I want to talk about some late breaking news that just happened this week. Two news items, which I'm going to cover more later in the presentation in case some other people come. Um, uh, news item number one, if you were in the uh, keynote presentation today by Dr. Werner Vogels, you heard him announce a number of new Amazon products, one of which was Amazon Code Catalyst. And I'm going to talk to you today about the new integration between MEN's automated security platform and Amazon Code Catalyst. The second news announcement came from MEND earlier this week, where we announced a new integration between MEND Renovate and AWS Code Commit and Code Build. So more on all of those things coming later. But now let me turn to the main subject. Uh, the title of this presentation is about how MEND and AWS are working together to solve security problems. What are the biggest security problems in the world today? This slide tells the answer. Today, threats are mostly focused on software applications. That was not true five years ago. It used to be networks or endpoints. Today, it's applications. That's not our conclusion. That's the conclusion of the researchers from Forrester Research. They asked 530 security managers at large enterprises, were you attacked? Were, were, did you have a data breach? And if so, what was the cause of that data breach? And the answers are shown here. Number one cause was software vulnerability exploit. Number two, supply chain third party breach. And this is the reason why today, 59% of organizations' top security objective is to protect their applications. That is way up. That's up 14 percentage points from five years ago. What else is in the news? It's the fact that usage of open source has skyrocketed. If, if you now look across enterprises, 99% of enterprises are going to be using open source, whereas in 2015, the number was 26%. Now, along with increased usage has come increasing vulnerabilities. You see the score right there. Anybody heard of Log4j? Yep, yep, uh, yep. That was a really bad, it was a zero-day vulnerability that was announced just about a year ago. All government agencies and enterprises were scurrying to find and fix Log4j within their environments. Same thing with Spring for Shell. So it's this kind of data that's what's happening in the real world that has caused Gartner to make this really bold statement last summer. This is a rare statement. They're not usually this blunt about things. They say managing open source software is the easiest and most impactful thing you can do to improve application security. Wow. They really want to get people's attention. They're trying to do a good thing for the world to get them to understand uh, that these are where the threats are. So the title of this presentation is about how AWS and MEND are working together on a range of solutions, which I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, it's built on a partnership, really three different parts of uh, uh, serve as the foundation of our work with AWS. The first is our strategic partnership. Hey, Amazon is trying to sell more AWS services, right? So what they want is for 
you guys to deploy more and more applications faster into the cloud, right? It's, it's no secret. And it's also no secret, if you just look at the surveys, that security has often been an impediment to that. And so Amazon looked around, and they saw that Mend was a leader in application security. They approached us. They said, would you be a partner with us to build integrated solutions that are easy to use and easy to deploy for our customers? The second point there, all up application security, that means that the range of solutions that we're delivering involves not just open source, but also custom code to give you a complete application security solution. Finally, we brought our, our secret sauce, if you will, into this partnership. For a long time, Mend has thought that simply alerting developers to security flaws is not good enough. We've been trying to build our products to give a maximum amount of support in terms of remediating those problems. We call it a remediation first approach. And we brought that into the joint partnership with AWS. So our customers who deploy our products tell us that these are the business results. First is to improve security. Anybody in the audience, uh, th those of you who have walked up, anybody whose primary job function is security? Right? So, so these are the kind of things that uh, are singing your song, right? You're reducing your software attack surface. You're reducing the mean time to remediation before versus after MEND. And MEND blocks malicious software from ever entering your code base. Second thing, those of you who raised, raised your hand said you're involved with cloud operations or DevOps, we help you improve your process because our application security platform is so easily deployable, so easily integratable within developers' workflows. Uh, it's the very definition of DevSecOps. Uh, and then programmers are really happy that we save them time. In fact, we save about 80% of the time that a developer would normally spend remediating application security flaws. Uh, some of that is because uh, our security products are so well integrated within the developer's existing tools. They don't have to switch to a different security product. It's right there in front of their face. They like that. Another reason is because we have some patented technologies, one of which we call reachability path analysis that reduces the number of false positives. Most of the alerts that a security product will send to a developer is a false positive. It's not really something that needs to be fixed. Mend knows the difference and tells the developer so the developer's not wasting his time. Uh, and as we say there at the bottom, we do the research so the, the developer doesn't have to. Now here's an example of one of our customers. Uh, their name is CAE. They're based in Canada. Their business is to um, have these software training simulators, such as aircraft uh, flight simulators. And they had deployed our product, and then December of 2021 happened. And that was the month of the big announcement of Log4j. And so they wanted to quickly and easily find and fix all the Log4j vulnerabilities that were in their environment. And they told us that within one hour, they were able to do that with MEND software composition analysis, the product that they had deployed. They said if they didn't have MEND deployed, they think it would have taken them one or two weeks just to find all the Log4j in their environment. So I started off this presentation talking about today's uh, big news, this week's biggest news. Let me start on the right. Uh, earlier this week, we announced a new integration between MEND Renovate and these two um, AWS development tools shown here, AWS Code Build and Code Commit. Has anyone heard of MEND Renovate? It's a super, it's a super popular developer tool that helps developers keep their software dependencies up to date. The great thing about open source software is it's free. But that means that other people have developed it and other people are updating it. And so you might not know when it's been updated. And so MEND Renovate helps automate that process. It automatically alerts the developer 
when a new version is available and when it's safe to update. And we announced this integration with AWS CodeCommit earlier this week. Now, this morning's big news, Dr. Werner Vogel announced Amazon Code Catalyst. It is a workflow tool, sort of an automation tool. And uh, uh, AWS came to us and said, can you build a security um, uh, action, they call it, within Code Catalyst so that uh, when a developer is building his workflow, he says, I want security scanning as part of this workflow. Uh, and we did. Uh, we built in uh, this automated action that makes it super easy for a developer to add code scanning to Code Catalyst. And this is what it looks like. I mentioned earlier that one of our keys to success, one of the reasons why developers love using our products, is because the security information that we provide is embedded right there in the developer's existing tools. So they don't need to switch context and use a separate security tool. So that's exactly what you're seeing here. You're seeing the security information powered by MEND SCA showing up in Amazon Code Catalyst. Now, this isn't our only integration. Of course, if you're using GitHub, GitLab, if you're using Bitbucket, uh, we integrate with a wide range of existing developer tools. Now, if you're a developer and you want some more information about any of these vulnerabilities, you just click, and MEND will provide more details and how to fix that vulnerability as shown there. So that's just about the end of my 15 minutes. It looks like I just have a couple minutes left. So I want to encourage uh, everyone uh, to see us at booth 3123 or to go to the URL shown here. Uh, we are really proud of our partnership with AWS. We're, we are really happy that they came to us as the first security vendor that they wanted to work with to build embedded security within Amazon Code Catalyst. I'm going to put up a QR code, uh, which is going to sit here for just the, the next minute or so in case you want to grab that. That will send you to our website where you can grab some additional information about our partnership. That's all I had today. Thank you very much for joining. Are there any questions?